In 2008, I was working on a novel. I had heard a story from a friend of mine about someone who found a home movie in a flea market, which turned out to have some historical importance. In the course of that, I remembered, well, my family has some old home movies. And so I asked my parents, and it took a couple of tries, but eventually I found this footage. And the moment that I saw it, you know, there's a title sequence at the beginning. It says, our trip to Holland, Belgium, Poland, Switzerland, 1938. And just seeing Poland, 1938, together in a sentence, I realized that this was of great historical value. And then you see all of these children, and you see all of this life on the street. And I realized this is almost certainly the only moving imagery of this community, perhaps the only images of some of these people at all. And I didn't know who they were. I didn't know what town it was. Eventually, I was able to identify the town as Nashelsk. And two and a half years after I found the film, sort of out of the blue, uh, I received an email from someone who had seen the footage on the Holocaust Museum's website in Washington, DC. And as the camera goes across this group of children, she sees her grandfather's face as a 13-year-old boy and he's still alive. Mr. Chandler has a photographic memory, and this was beyond anything I had ever dreamed. He was able to watch the film, identify people, tell stories about their lives, and as a result of this, I, I wrote my book. It came out in 2014, but sort of as a, as a byproduct in a way, I built a community of the survivors and their families and the families of survivors who were no longer living, the families of descendants like mine, people who had come to the United States or elsewhere in the world before the war. And this community is sort of what's become this descendants group. And now there's more than 300 people around the world. In 2014, I realized this was the 75th anniversary of the deportation of the Jewish community of Nashalsk. And I suggested to the people I was in touch with, why don't we go back? To my great surprise, about 50 people agreed to come. It was the largest group of Jewish people who had been in Nashalsk since the day of the deportation. That group, we sort of formed this commitment to ourselves that we wanted to restore the cemetery, we wanted to build a memorial, we wanted the history of this community to become an accepted part of the history of the town. We can't make it happen. We can't say to the people who live there, you need to remember this. We can only hope that to build relationships and ultimately to find partners who feel the same way. Form for Dialogue showed me what's possible, and they educated me in the challenges of the possible, in terms of creating an atmosphere and a context in which it's possible to discuss these difficult, complicated, emotional subjects. So they provided a model for me and, a, and the encouragement that it can be done. Now from kindergarten through the high school, students are learning Jewish history and Jewish culture. Oh, yes. Yesterday on this walking tour that the students gave us, these 12 and 13 year old Polish students telling a group of descendants of the Jewish community about Jewish life in Poland, in Nashelsk. And this boy stands in front of the home of Mr. Chandler and tells the story of Mr. Chandler and his family. He's going to remember every time he walks past that building. Well, this was the home of the Skalka store, where the Skalka family and the Tuchendler family lived. Mr. Chandler's still alive. I sent him 
video this boy telling his story in front of his home. Moshek Tuchendler urodził się i swoje wczesne dzieciństwo spędził w Nasielsku. To me this is surreal in the most in the best imaginable sense in that I never thought such a thing could be possible. Standing there for me listening to this, you know, I, I started both laughing and weeping at the same moment because it's the most beautiful thing that's happened that just an ordinary kid in town remembers Mr. Chandler's family. That's all we ever hoped would happen.